beggars, people who beg money, they are only asking you to give them something for free. And God doesn't like that. He said, it's him that gives it the abilities to make words. He said, God never changed. He said, I've never seen the righteous beg for food. The rapture, the righteous ones, the righteous one, the one that is righteous, follow the law of righteousness. Be righteous. If you just follow that law, you will never beg. Begging will make you poor. Begging will make you poor. If someone is giving you, giving you, and you are collecting, a collector will be poor. A collector will be poor. A collector will be poor. Sometimes I tell people, I have to give you, but I won't give you, but I'll tell you how you can make it. How you can make it happen. A collector is poor and him that consume will be poor consumers consumer will always lack consumer will always poor consumer will always go broke when you consume and you are not producing God wants us to be producer what did he say in Genesis he said let us make man in our own image and likeness. He said, be fruitful. Be fruitful. Fruitful. That means the fruit is already in you. He said, be fruitful. Secondly, multiply. Multiply. He didn't say consume. He said, be producer. Be production. Be productive, add value. When you follow the law of producing, you would always have. But when you consume it, you will always lack. You will always lack. Take that. It's true. Look at something that you have to exchange. A value you have to produce, you have to provide. I tell you, when you consume and you, you are not producing that will bring, bring in income, you will be broke. That's why we say it's predictable. Failure is predictable. Success is predictable. But when you are producing and multiplying, you will succeed. Certainly, you will succeed. You will be successful. You will be wealthy. This is the same laws and principle that the, the Africa most wealthiest man that you call Ali Kodagote it applies. He is fruitful and is multiplying. He is fruitful and is multiplying. As long as you are fruitful and multiplying, you would always reach. Money will always come to you. Remember, it's not all about money. It's all about be successful. Successful is becoming who you have designed to be. Find your gift. The gift, we said, it makes a way for you. And we also said, success is those who are able to put their gift into use. And uh, we said, uh, employment and deployment. Deployment, that we said. Deployment means you are bringing out that which is in you. To serve the humanity, to reach out to the world. That means you are providing a value. And we say, a wife who provides a value, the husband will always give it. How do you provide a value as a wife? Be a good wife. Become who God has made you to be. 
you are designed to be a good wife. So how do you provide value? Take care of the family, take care of the children, put their home together. You are supposed to be the helper, be the helper of the world. Help your husband to manage resources. Your husband would always have to give you. That means any woman that is obey this law, obey that law, your marriage will not break. And you will always have people go for value. When you provide value, your husband will not go outside looking for another, another woman. When you provide the real value to your husband, your husband will always give you money. So, you, if you want your husband to always give you money every day, be who God has designed you to be. Don't become a man in the house because you are not designed to be a man. Let the man be the man in the house. We are not talking about whatever is called the, the globalist and giving them a name. No, the biblical functionality is a woman. God said, I will make you a woman to be a helper and a companion. Be your husband companionship. And you're providing that value. There's no way you not put money in your purse. So that is becoming deployment. Deploy the gift that is in you. How do you discover how? How do you discover your gift? How do you discover your gift? You see, when you are working your gift, you face challenges. You go through tough times. And you have to overcome these tough times. Overcoming these tough times that we call crisis. That we call crisis makes you to be approved. Jesus Christ came to redeem the world. He has to face the trouble of being killed. He fixed the temptation. He was able to endure it. He wished that temptation would be gone, would be taken away, but he has to do it because he must do the work of him that set him. He went through the temptation. God trusted him and he said, from this day, he said, where I am, there you will be. There is a reward after you've gone through trial and temptation. Trials and temptation doesn't mean that God has abandoned you. I come to discover because in working your gift, there must be trials. If there are no trials and persecution, you are not in the right path. You are probably doing something wrong. You are in the wrong path. When you are working your gift, the test of time, the test of crisis in your life will determine whether you are fit for the kingdom or to succeed who you have become. Remember, God cannot show you the gift that he has put in you if you have not, if you have not, consider him to be your Lord. The Bible says, obey your God and your Lord who gave gifts, who gave power, who gave abilities in the Deuteronomy, who gave ability to make wealth. If you ignore the God that makes the ability, you are going to struggle. That is why you pay more attention to the things of God, to the things of the kingdom. Love the Lord your God. Serve him with your gift. Just as we're doing here today. Serve him with your gift. Serve him with your gift. And if you have not received Jesus Christ, there's no way you can discover your gift. He made the gift. He gives you the law. You remember, the laws cannot be broken. He gave you the laws, and he said, don't break the laws. Rejecting Jesus means you are denying the things that God has built in you. 
you are disobeying him. Not to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have choose to be to be failure in life. You have choose not to discover who you are because it's the Spirit of God that will open your mind, open your spirit to know that which God has put in you that will make you live a good life. So he gave us the rules, he gave us the keys. And I also tell you that we're going to talk about our keys in our next session. He gave us the keys of the kingdom. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Confess it with your mouth. Renounce the wrong things that you're doing. And embrace him. Walk with him. Walk with him. You will not find your gift amongst your friends. You will not find your gift amongst your, your, your families in the parties or in a noisy place. Jacob said, I didn't know God was here and I didn't know. God who works with you is a personal decision. You have to leave every other thing. Leave what they are saying. Just follow the rules. Follow the law. The Bible says the book of this law shall not depart of your mouth. Meditate on it day and night and observe to do that you will make your way prosper, that you will have good success. And I pray for you today. I pray for every one of you today who have listened to this series that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom I serve in my spirit, that as this words are coming to you that the Holy Spirit will come into you and help you to discover your gift and you will serve the world and your generation with the gift that God has put inside you so if you not receive Jesus Christ just say this prayer say Lord God I come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I confess my sin I renounce my sin I declare that I will not break any law again in my life. And follow your precept. From this day, I want to live for you. Come into me to be the Lord of my life. Thank you, Father, for I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. He died for me, was raised from the dead, is alive today. Is alive today. And today, I confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I declare that I am born again. I am welcome. I am welcome into the kingdom. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for this one. In Jesus' name. Until we come your way again, until we are seven again, stay blessed. We shall be discussing how to develop your gift, how to discover your gift, and how to put your gift to work how to deploy your gift. Thank you. God bless you.